365 days, 365 messages God has in store for us in each day. You've got mail from God, written by Edgar Redondo Ramirez. Come and join us. Let us see what God has in store for us. Today is April 10th, 2022. The title of this devotional is Soar. The scripture reading can be found in Romans chapter 6, verse 22. And it says, But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the benefits you reap leads to holiness, and the result is eternal life. Dear Heavenly Father, some days our lives seem so complicated and stressful. I ask you to allow us to listen to your word and appreciate the little things that we do have in life. In your name we pray. Amen. Once someone is rescued from sin, they began the difficult task of overcoming all their sinful inclinations to keep on growing until they reach the stature of Jesus Christ. That means overcoming bad and harmful habits to keep the high moral standards set by their new life of freedom. I recently read the following conversation between a Christian leader and one of those indecisive and inquisitive young men wandering through one of our churches. Tell me, Pastor, is it wrong to smoke a cigarette here and there? Are you a believer? Asked the pastor. I am, but I still smoke. Then listen to this story. During the Second World War, a pilot took off from his base to attack the enemy at a certain location. When he was far from land, he noticed a mouse was chewing away at the strings on his parachute. Instead of landing, the pilot flew to a higher altitude until the mouse died as a result of the altitude. The same thing happens with us, my friend. If the mice of bad habits or sins are breaking our strings of communication with God, that means we are flying too low. So low that the atmosphere is conducive to evil works. But if we fly at a higher altitude, as if it was natural, the mice of bad habits and sin will stop harming us because they cannot survive at higher altitudes. Ellen G. White wrote, With what care should Christians regulate their habits, that they may preserve the full vigor of every faculty to give to the service of Christ? If we would be sanctified in soul, body, and spirit, we must live in conformity to the divine law. The heart cannot preserve consecration to God while the appetites and passion are indulged at the same expense of health and life. Those who violate the laws upon which health depends must suffer the penalty. They have also limited their abilities in every sense that they cannot properly discharge their duties to the fellow man, and they utterly fail to answer the claims of God. Dear reader, how is your spiritual life? It is normal for us to feel harassed by sin throughout our Christian walk. But if that is your case today, listen to God's message for you. Soar, because the mice of sin cannot stand high altitudes. I have plans for you, and they are in high places. Go up even higher. Take flight and soar. Amen.